Hello students, myself Dr. Shilpi Gupta, welcome you to the class of chemistry. We are running with the topic of phenol and today I am going to st uh, start with Gatamel synthesis reaction and its mechanism. So what is Gatamel synthesis? When phenol is treated with HCl and HCN hydrogen cyanide in presence of dry anhydrous aluminium chloride then what we get is salicyl aldehyde the CHO group comes to the para position this is salicyl aldehyde okay so this aldehyde group attack on the para position and if para position is occupied then it will attack on the ortho position. Okay. Now we will do its mechanism. First of all, the reagents which are used in the reaction in the step 1. First we will do the step 1. HCl and HCN are participating in the reaction. Okay. So first these both will react. And what will happen? As you all know, H and Cl are attached together by a covalent bond like this. They are sharing a lone pair of electrons. So, since Cl has more electronegativity, it will take the bond towards itself and will break. Okay. Now, here a partial positive charge will come and here a negative charge will come. Both will get charged. Okay. Cl will get negative charge because it has taken the lone pair of electrons towards itself and hydrogen will get positive charge whereas nitrogen being more electronegative will take the lone pair of electron will take one bond one lone pair of electron towards itself and then what will happen what will form is it will get negative charge and it will get positive charge okay it is like this now what will happen? Negative will attach with positive and positive will attach with negative. So what will form is this compound. Okay. Negative charge. Cl has negative charge. So it will attach with carbon atom which has positive charge and H will attach with N because H has positive and N has negative charge. So, a compound like this is formed, which is called as imidoformyl chloride. This mechanism is a kind of formylation. Imidoformyl chloride. So, this is the step 1. Okay. Now, we comes to the step 2. One more reagent has been participated in the reaction. That is aluminium chloride. Aluminium tetrachloride. ALCl. 3. ALCl3 has been participated. Okay. So, what we, we have formed is Okay. This we have formed. This is imidoformal chloride. Okay. Now, aluminum chloride. The structure of aluminum chloride is like this. It is sharing lone pair of electron. One electron of Cl and one electron of aluminium. So, it is making three bonds with three Cl. Okay. Now, it has six electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six aluminium. To complete its octet, it needs two more valence electrons. Okay. Then its octet will be complete. Here, as you can see, we have Cl which has negative charge. Okay. So, what will happen? Aluminium needs two electrons so, it will take the Cl from this formal chloride and it will break from here. Okay. It will break from here and it will attach with this. So, what will form is CH double bond NH. C will get again positive charge and aluminium tetrachloride will form. Okay. So, its octet is complete now. So, it is formed. Now, this was step 2. Now, we come on step 3. In step 3, what will happen? Phenol will participate. Okay. This is phenol. When phenol will participate, it will react with 
ALCL4. Okay, it will react with ALCL4. This bond will break between oxygen and hydrogen. When this bond will break, then what will form? What will happen? H will have positive charge. It will take the Cl from aluminium tetrachloride. It will take react with this and will form HCl. And the compound form is O will get negative charge and AlCl4. AlCl4 has been reduced to AlCl3 and it will again get positive charge because Cl has is been removed with lone pair of electrons and has made a bond with H and formed HCl. So it is formed AlCl3 with positive charge. Now oxygen has negative charge and aluminum chloride has positive charge. So negative will attract positive and will form OAlCl3. It will get positive charge, it has negative charge. Okay, now come the step 4. Now on the step 4, what will happen? In step 4, what will happen? It has positive charge, it has negative charge, it will react with okay, CH double bond NH which was formed earlier. Okay, now what will happen? Oxygen will take this bond here. It will get double bond. If it, it will come here, then this will come here. This bond will come at this position. When this bond will come at this position, the para position will become activate. When the para position will become activate due to resonance, then this bond will attack at the carbon which was deficient. Okay, the CH is deficient, so it will attack here. Then what will form is H is already there. Okay, this we have read earlier also that carbon has four valency. Carbon has always the four valency. So carbon, uh, this hydrogen is already there and this will form. Okay, now what will happen? Now hydrogen will release from this uh, group and a proton will release. Okay, because it will not release with the bond, it will release itself. And this bond will shift here. Okay, when this bond will shift here, this bond will shift here. So what will happen? Let's see. Double bond O is already there. This bond is here. This bond has shifted here. And this bond has shifted here. And H which was released, a proton which was released, will uh, react further in the reaction. Now what will happen? When this bond has shifted here, this bond will shift to the oxygen. Like this. It will again get negative charge and this group is already here at the para position. Now it has negative charge and the proton is already there in the reaction. So it will make a bond with proton. And what will form is and CH double bond NH. Now a hydrolysis will be done. On hydrolysis what we get will CHO salicyl aldehyde. A formyl group will attach on the benzene ring at the para position on the phenol group. And its form is salicyl aldehyde. This is the final product. Okay. So this mechanism has series of uh, steps and we have uh, done all the steps. So it's all for today. Now we will meet in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day.